I don't know where- Stop trying to leave! Where are they going? Seriously? They came all the way over here to exchange their vowels. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Dorios and today we're back with some more of the Sims 4 Ultimate Decades Challenge. So we are here in 1319. It is very, very early in the morning on Saturday. Nothing too much is going on quite yet. There's people sleeping on couches. <laughs> Why does no one ever want to sleep in their beds? I really don't understand. Like literally no one ever sleeps in their, what are you making? Excuse, you probably, you had to have had whatever it was. I'm assuming you're making like eggs and bacon or something. It looks like Olive is making pancakes or something as well. I, uh, I wish that I could set the stove to be like, I don't know, like to where it only allows for them to make the older foods because now they're starting to make a bunch of modern foods as well. And I have to click on the cookbook for them to make the older food, which is kind of annoying. Let's resume pancake. I guess pancakes have been around for a long time. Let's go ahead and have her resume those Mrs. Jansis here. So I feel like pancakes were around for a long time as well. She can finish those. And let's go to resume scrambled eggs with bake. Again, something that they would have had. Don't know where she got the bacon from. Um, I know we probably had some salted meat and stuff though. Okay, you just need eggs for eggs and bacon, I suppose. Who put ugh, wet laundry over here? I honestly think that we need a second clothesline at this point. I see a lot of people's playthroughs and they have second clotheslines and I think I understand why. We go through so much laundry, it's insane. Okay, now that we have a second clothesline, let's go ahead and have her come over here and wash some more clothes. I know, Jancis, I'm sorry. You're, no, you're kind of lucky to live here though because you and your mom were kicked out of your house and like you would have had to live basically probably in an orphanage if your mom hadn't been able to get a house, like get a room for you guys here. I forgot we have to take care of the, I forgot about the bees. I'm not gonna lie because we weren't allowed to like use them during the famine either. So I stopped taking care of them and I kind of forgot about them. Yeah, no. So now they're making a bunch of like, I guess again, a grilled cheese, bread and cheese, not impossible that they would have made it back then, but it's just, you know, less, less historically accurate that they're making all these modern foods now. Grim, I don't like the fact that you're just kind of hovering behind Arne right now. Um, he's not about to die, Grim. Sorry to break it to you. I'm having Tina go ahead and make a candle because she is a tinker after all. She should be tinkering. And Petra was experimenting. I don't think she gained any new knowledge or anything like that, unfortunately. Let's have her come up here and take a bath because she is stinky. I'm so bad about getting all of my Sims to take a bath. She doesn't know Scrubberoo yet, does she? Oh, she does know Scrubberoo. She can just do that for herself. Her grand delicioso brought to us some hot dogs. Not historically accurate, so I probably won't be using this very often, but she was hungry. I couldn't fully remember what this did. Let's go and have her grab a serving. I mean, again, meat sausages, stuff between buns. How unlikely is it really that they wouldn't have these? Like they could probably get something similar in a marketplace or something. The ketchup or the mustard, I guess is a little bit extra, but yeah. Gosh, dang it, Grim. You're gonna end up killing Tina. She's terrified of you, don't you know? Don't you know, Grim? She's terrified. So since it is Sunday, we're gonna go ahead and worship the Watcher with everybody except for Petra. Cause I feel like Petra probably wouldn't necessarily go worship the Watcher anymore. She might be shunned from the church or maybe she should go worship the Watcher to keep up appearances. We could also say that. I think she will go worship the Watcher just to keep up appearances, you know? Let's go worship the Watcher, Jancis. Come on. I need to find an umbrella override. <laughs> Those umbrellas are getting on my nerves at this point. Are these foxes fighting? Wait, what? Rooney and Chester, are you guys fighting over the territory or something? Like what's going on here? So from Tina's inventory, let's go ahead and sell all these carved candles. It's not gonna give us a ton of money, but I feel like that's something that Tina would do to help make money for the household, just because I feel like she would enjoy making candles. It's just what I imagine. Those are each worth only 50. Those take a long time to make. How much are each of these worth? Really, the carved candle? <gasps> Due to neglect, what? But maybe, what, what, no, what? No, what? Uh, how was Mabel neglected? I, I don't know how Mabel is considered a neglected. Um but that's technically a death. That's technically a Sims 4 death. I don't, how was she neglected? It was saying that she was neglected earlier and I was like, her. all of her needs are fine. How is she being neglected? Nope, it just took her away. What the frick? 
fuck, y'all? Child services took a child away due to an awful cause of neglect. Adne is devastated. We don't even get her gravestone because she, she died of neglect. I don't understand. I don't understand. Is there a way to disable that? Someone please let me know. I was not expecting that. What the heck? Do y'all... <sighs> I don't know if my game's glitching out or what. That's upsetting though, either way. What should we even say that she died from? I don't even know. Well, go ahead and say that she like drowned in the river because I, I, I don't know. If you guys can think of something better, let me know, but that's what I'm gonna put on the sheet for now. It looks like Jancis does not like mischief. No, 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 no mischief for her, especially after the mischief of taking away one of our children. Something I realized I didn't do last time was I didn't actually make Thomas the monarch. So now Thomas is the monarch. But the reason that we're here today is because Imran, it's his time to roll to see if he becomes an adult. Something I think I am gonna do with the royals because again, they're royals. They have all the money in the world, essentially. So we're going to be rolling only for half of what typically the rolls would be. So we'll take away like half the numbers. So instead of having to roll a nine or greater, he's only going to have to roll a five or greater rather to become an adult, a full on adult. And also he does technically have a child, but we're going to consider it an illegitimate child. And let's go ahead and roll. He has to roll a five or greater to become an adult. He rolled a 17. He would have been an adult no matter what. And since he is becoming an adult, we're going to go ahead and roll a D10 to see how many years past his adulthood he lives to become the end of adult life. Let's see. Nine. So he's going to live to be, I think it's like 59 because an adult is 40 to 50. So he's going to be 59 when he passes away. That's insane. We're also really quick going to roll another D20 to see if he does get married because he's already an adult. He should have been married since he was a teenager. But let's roll anyways and see if he does get married to a princess. He rolled a 12, he does get married. He has to roll a four to a 20 to get married. So since he does get married, I think we might go ahead and see if we can find Imran, a younger girl that he can get married to, probably just so that way he can actually have a chance of having a baby. <laughs> Cause let's be honest, if he was married to an older woman, he probably wouldn't have a chance to get a baby. So we get to play as a royal family for just a little bit here. We're also just really quickly gonna age him up to an adult just using MC Command Center because I feel like that's the easiest way to go about it. And he is now an adult, a full-blown adult. And there we go. Congrats, Imran. So I didn't realize that there are laws that we could actually do. So the one thing I did do is restrict the wearing of purple to royals only. I'm going to have him, I believe that there is a monarch job in here somewhere as he is the reigning monarch i might be wrong yeah monarch of the land awesome okay so it's just a rabbit hole job we're gonna do check on that one he just has to literally be confident for his job that's it that's it so just to make this really easy and really quick we're actually just gonna literally place down a sim into the family for them to marry it's literally just called cute girl pretty girl i didn't realize that when i first clicked on it because i didn't look at the name but we're gonna place this sim down by sims4 underscore ola underscore 17 underscore 100 for now i'm gonna go ahead and give her a makeover for the era and i will be back in just a few minutes so i went ahead and named her leonora goldberg because i figured she would be of a very wealthy family she is a teen, so she has a long time to be able to be like the mother. So I still don't know how that mod works where you can like assign Sims to like be married to each other essentially. But I think we're going to go ahead. We're going to kind of cheat them really quick so that way they can get married. I never noticed that these curtains actually move. Have curtains always moved like that? I never noticed that before. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and ask her to be his girlfriend really quick. And let's see, we're definitely not close enough for me to share my preferences with you or not. We'll try again in the morning, I suppose. Oh, also another reason why I picked her is because she is both self-assured and mean, which I thought was kind of perfect. Oh, can we propose to her? We can propose to her. 
Will she say yeah? Apparently she did say yes. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just have them elope immediately. Maybe in the future we'll do like actual royal weddings and stuff like that. But for today, I think that's all we're gonna do. I don't think we can actually do that right away, can we? Or you know what? Let's go ahead and add a wedding event. Why not? We'll make one. We'll go ahead and do the wedding at noon. And we'll make sure to invite our entire family. And I guess Tina, because Tina is technically, she's not necessarily a noble, but she is gentry. She's the only one that's in like proper attire right now. So she's, I'm just gonna invite her. Casual. <laughs> do we actually have an aisle to walk down? I think we have to actually put down the object. So I'll do that really quick and then we'll have the wedding. Okay, so it's time for the ceremony. We're gonna go ahead and have guests sit down. Please take your seats. So they're all walking over here. This isn't gonna be a grand wedding. I honestly despise having to try to figure out all the stuff for these weddings. I'm not gonna lie. So we're not doing anything too insane. Okay, so now let's go ahead and have him walk down the aisle. There we go. And then let's go ahead and have her walk down the aisle. Imran already sat down, lovely. Okay, let's come over here. More choices, ceremony activities, gather at the aisle. And then walk down aisle. Let's go ahead and have her walk down the aisle. I like how Tina's casually over here. <laughs> I don't have any other Sims. They're not really sitting properly. Let's go ahead and exchange vows and kiss really quick. I don't know where- Stop trying to leave. I suck at doing things like this. This is like in their private chapel as well. Romance, exchange vows, and kiss. Where are they going? Seriously? They came all the way over here to exchange their vows. I don't know why they wouldn't exchange their vows over there. I don't fully know how weddings work in this game. I'm not gonna lie. But cute. He's exchanging the vows. I think she's about to exchange the vows as well. Okay, so they have officially exchanged the vows. Admire newlyweds. Okay, I don't think we're gonna have the speeches. I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out. Ending early. Check. There we go. And now that they are officially married, I believe, right? Engaged, and then from performing vows and just married. Okay, so she is married. Okay, and here is a D12 to see how many pregnancy tries they actually get. Let's go ahead and roll it. If they roll a one, there's no children. Two to 12 is number of pregnancy or baby attempts. Eight. So they get eight baby attempts total. Okay, and I honestly, there's no reason to even wait for them to start trying for babies, if we're being honest. So let's come up here. This is, I believe, their house, their area. We're gonna actually assign the right side of the bed to Imran. Assign the left side of the bed to Leonora. So this will be their bed in here. And I want to assign the king and queen to their bed as well to make sure that they sleep in there. And so we're gonna go ahead and have them consummate the marriage. More choice. Choices. We're gonna go ahead and try for baby with Leonora. Awesome, and they're trying for a baby. Once we actually have family members in the royal family, I might actually play with them more. But I know everybody wanted me to play with the Watson family since we did make them the royal family as well. So I'm gonna try to keep up with them. Things might not be as grandiose for now. I won't make the castle look era appropriate completely right away. We'll get there eventually. So it does not look like she got pregnant from this try. So they only have seven tries left, which is a little bit worrying. So hopefully, hopefully Leonora does get pregnant soon because this is, this is for the kingdom. The entire reason that Imran got married was so that way he could start having an heir for his family. So we're gonna hope that she soon has a baby. I am gonna go ahead and end off this episode here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, we got to play with the Watsons a little bit, which was interesting to say the least. Definitely leave me some comments about what you think about the royal family, if there's anything else we should do. Don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already check out my Twitch channel. I do stream every Friday through Monday. The Sims is on Sundays and Mondays. If I stream on Sundays, Sundays are up in the air sometimes. And if you do run into my Twitch, you can actually redeem a redemption that adds one of your Sims into the medieval world that we're playing in right now. So feel free to go ahead and redeem that in Twitch and I will add your Sim that you put on the gallery. Don't forget to go ahead and check out the next episode right here and you can check out the playlist right down below that and I will see you guys all back next time on my channel. Bye guys, have a great rest of 
of your day. This episode actually took me quite a while to record as well. I'm taking longer to record episodes and I need to, I need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs>